Hello, my name is Joe Polish, and this is... I'm Dean Jackson. Yep, uh, I love marketing.com. Anyway, we've got a pretty old Remington typewriter in front of us, and I've always really appreciated old typewriters because they represent to me the power of words. Mm. And also, since both Dean and I are students of direct response marketing and have spent you know, pretty much about 20 years each uh, discovering and learning and utilizing the very best um, strategies using words, using copy, uh, I think about all of the things that people before us that were marketers, that were writers, what they had to go through just to get an ad placed, yeah. just to put something together. I mean, well, now even in our lifetimes, I mean, yeah. what you and I would have to do even doing ads when we first were starting out, layouts and, and pasting up things. Yeah, I learned how to actually type yeah. with a manual typewriter just in high school, like this one. Yeah, no, not exactly, but yeah, it's similar though. And what's what's interesting about it is, I hear a lot of people today that bitch and complain about how hard it is to get out an email campaign or do, do something. And I was like, do you realize that even in the 70s, uh, people in order to place an ad were using X-Acto knives and whiteout in order to place an ad. And in order to lay out an ad back then, it could take literally days, weeks, to do what you can do in like a matter of a few minutes, minutes yeah, today. Exactly. And so when I look at a typewriter, what it makes me realize is that the people that are successful at utilizing powerful marketing and making a difference are people that have marketing stamina. They're the ones that are willing to go through what is needed to go through in order to do it. Now, putting things together, making them look pretty, getting them out, testing instantaneously, all of that stuff can be done, like I said, instantaneously. Learning direct response marketing, though, is a whole nother issue because it's not about technology, it's about psychology. And you have to, for one, understand the mindset of the person that you're wanting to persuade, communicate, sell to. It doesn't matter if it's a for-profit business, a non-profit, or if you're simply just trying to get somebody to fund you know, a campaign for your children's school. or get a date. I mean, how you, you know, I mean, it, it does, words are powerful and, you know, putting words on paper can make the difference. Uh, you know, and Gary Halbert, who we've uh, spoken about quite a bit on ilovemarketing.com, uh, he's who one of the, the main people I first was introduced to the power of copywriting from, um, you know, he would say that almost any problem in the world can be solved with the right sales letter. You know, so out of a typewriter like this, uh, out of your computer, out of your smartphone, out of your iPad or tablet or whatever it is that you use to write or you can talk and transcribe, the words are what makes a difference. One of the things that me and Dean say all the time, and then I'm going to quit talking and have Dean say <laughs> things. One of the things we say all the time is that the difference between a $1 bill and a $100 bill is the message on the paper. You know, and so I'll let you expand on that. Yeah. So what does that even mean and how does it relate to anyone watching this video with you know, you know what I think about? Yeah, when I look at this ancient typewriter, this is probably from the 30s or 20s or something like that. Hey, where's the copyright? But I remember. I don't know, but I remember reading in in Claude Hopkins, and I remember reading the Robert Collier letter book, and I remember thinking, boy, those guys, they had it made because they could send out mail for a penny. They could send out a letter. And the first time I read those books was like 1992, 1993, before the internet. Right now. You look at this and I think about what are people a hundred years from now going to be talking about about how great we had it that we could send out email for free because yes. in the future it might be that it costs money to, to send out emails or, or whatever it is. But we look at it that you've got an even more powerful opportunity now with email to engage people in a dialogue. You can have a back and forth that you couldn't have had with the old stuff, with just the, the typewriter. But the words are really what matter about that. No matter what the technology, no matter what the delivery device, yeah. it's investing the time in studying and learning the psychology of how to interact with people through the written word. Yeah, so when me and Dean first decided to start our uh, podcast, um, which is I Love Marketing, and put it on iTunes, and, and now you know we've got literally just uh, you know, tens of thousands of uh, listeners listen to I Love Marketing every week, and uh, have learned a tremendous amount about it. You know, one of the things we wanted to do was take a lifetime of of 
you know, our business careers in marketing and share what we felt were the very best methods, uh, strategies, techniques, and do it in a way that we would just offer to people uh, for free and just put it out there and teach really good stuff. And in the process, if people really learned a lot, they could go out and make more money, they could build their nonprofits, they could do good things in the world. And it's really created a movement. And there are so many people now that have had so much success with what we've shared at, at I Love Marketing. And one of the things that we really focus on coming back to all the time are the fundamentals, the, the principle-based things, right. which is words. Because copy is the oxygen that makes your websites, that makes your sales letters, that makes your videos and your webinars and your seminars and your books and you know whatever it is whatever method you use to communicate to people the copy is the critical part and simply you know you can have the best advertising delivery systems available to you you can have all the technologies that can you know churn out um, you know an ad a promotion a campaign very quickly if the words suck though no one's going <laughs> to respond okay right. so, you know David Ogilvy uh, who wrote a fantastic book called Ogilvy on Advertising and you know he's just a genius uh, yeah. the late David Ogilvy said you cannot bore people into buying and part of getting exciting powerful encouraging inspirational disturbing in many cases words to cause people to take an action is critical and so the typewriter was just a tool the video camera that is recording this right now is just a tool. Mm -hmm. All of the tools that you have in your toolbox are just tools. Your ability to actually do well with them and make money with them have everything to do with you mastering the art of direct response marketing. Not only just getting your name out there about whatever product, service, experience, investment, cause that you're trying to get out there, but getting a response back mm -hmm. and having people respond because what you're writing what you're saying is compelling. And the point again behind this is just to make the comparison that you have advantages today that people back then did not have. Take advantage of those. Do not complain, create with what you got. Because there's a lot of people that complain about where they're at with their business, but you gotta look at, well, what are they learning? <laughs> what are they spending their time focusing on? I mean, there's a lot of different skill sets and capabilities that as, as entrepreneurs we can spend our time acquiring. Uh, I think Dean would agree with me that the number one thing as it relates to making money and engaging and connecting and bonding with people is simply uh, becoming a better marketer. Agreed. Anything else you want to say? I think it's fantastic. Test an email right now. You can test it just with, if you've got a list of, of prospects, you've got a list of, of clients, you've got a list of, of somebody that you can send a message out to and make an offer. Yeah, and you know, we're, we're, we're going to put this video on ilovemarketing.com, uh, however, uh, if you have never been to ilovemarketing.com, then go there. We have interviews with some of the greatest copywriters in the world uh, and some of the greatest marketers in the world where we talk about the power of words and we talk about the before unit, the during unit, and the after unit because every stage of your business has a before unit. What do you do in order to generate business? What do you do during in order to connect and increase the average sale? And what do you do after in order to have a relationship with people, not just a transaction? And Dean goes through his versions of how he does that, his methods of doing it, I do it, we play off each other really well, we tend to insult each other quite a lot, more <laughs> me more to him because he deserves it. But that being said, you know, all of the training that you would want, we really strive to have the stuff we give away in our podcast for free to be better than most of the art, uh, marketing information that many people pay for. Okay. And I've had numerous people, and I shouldn't say I, we have had numerous people tell us that they've learned more from listening to I Love Marketing and participating in what we do than actually learn from college. And of course, when it comes to marketing, that's not a hard thing to exactly. accomplish. I mean, so if you want some really proven, not theoretical, not opinions, but talk, you know, real things on how to build and grow your business and, and create what we call an elf business, easy, lucrative, fun versus a half business, which is hard, annoying, lame, and frustrating, then listen to I Love Marketing. Get yourself an old typewriter if you can get one. You know, go to a uh, you know go to go to any sort of pawn shop or a Goodwill or any place where you can find an antique store and, and get yourself an old typewriter and position it somewhere so you remember that in order to do well in business, it's not that hard. You just got to be better than the, the, the your competitors. Yeah. And, and simply, most people suck at marketing because they don't take the time to learn it. And the biggest obstacle that I think exists for people getting good at marketing is simply not valuing it. 
I mean, you can learn marketing. You can come yes. and I love marketing and listen to you know a couple of episodes, and you'll learn more about marketing than most people you know in business ninety nine percent even understand or know. And if you really make it a, a ritual and a habit to invest in this study and become a master at it, I mean, the sky's the limit on what you can do. So, amen. So go right now. I love marketing dot com. We'll be there. We're waiting for you right now. We're waiting. We have nothing else to do except talk to you. There you go. Goodbye. See you there.